Hello, guys, and thank you again for joining us on our testimonial night. We have an incredible testimony tonight. You guys are going to be really blessed. But first and foremost, we just want to thank God for giving us the ability to come here together so that we can do this thing called sharing, right? And it's amazing about this company that there is no competition. With us, all we're doing is sharing how wonderful this technology has been for us, what it has done for our bodies. And we try to keep it minimized. Of course, I'm not going to stop you um, uh, when you're talking and so forth. You just roll with what, what is in your heart, share with us what, it, what, what this technology, what God has done through this technology, right? Because he's the one that all the glory and all the praise belongs to. Amen. So thank you guys again for being on the call. We got Miss Diane Martin. She's got an incredible testimony that's going to bless you tonight. And I want you to take notes. And if you have any questions afterwards, we can go back and ask questions. That's always something that people, we, we tend to forget like what patches we use and where do we put it. So get ready for those afterwards. We'll, we'll do those questions. So Miss Diane, are you ready? I, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, take it away. Tell us, tell us what uh, this technology has done for you and, uh, and, and, and what LifeWiz has done for you and how it's changed your life. Okay. Well, uh, uh, it's, if I do a little background first, I'd like to thank you for inviting me. Um, you all have been so kind and gracious, and I just feel like you're my family, not only in the business, but, but spiritually. Uh, I feel like you're all my brothers and sisters. Um, that's what I love about this company, you know, the character and the kindness right from the top on down because David Schmidt, I even remember, I believe it was the Nova that I watched. And at the end, they said, what else would you say? And he said, if everybody could just be kind and caring, that would just go a long way to improve your health. And that just meant a lot to me um, that we can give all the glory to God and talk about him all we want. And, you know, I just really love that. And um, so I just wanna say that I, I thank God for this company. And we were in a lot of companies um, um, before that I thought were going to be it. And I've been into wellness and nutrition for over 40 years. For some reason, the Lord placed it in me to want to know how does the body work? Uh, how can I stay well and youthful uh, without drugs and doctors? So I've been researching and studying whenever anything's wrong. I look it up and try to take the all natural thing. I'm going to be 69. Well, I am 69. I'm sorry. Uh, 70 in December. Um, and I'm not on any drugs uh, or any doctor's care for anything. I went to my physical the other day and I aced it and uh, she wanted to know all about my patches. So that was, that was cool. Um, but um, I just want to say that um, I didn't know the Lord was going to wait this long. You know how a lot of people say, if I knew I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself. Well, now with LifeWave, you can make up for lost time and bad decisions. So that's awesome. I, I love that it's six months of wearing X39, you can gain eight years. I mean, so we're going backwards and that's just amazing to me. Um, so I just didn't know the Lord would save the best for last. And you know that expression that if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. I thought that only was for salvation, but now with LifeWave, they really have broken the mold. And God has given this genius technology to David Schmidt for the world and it's just such an amazing gift. Just, I can't even hardly believe it. The look on people's faces when you help them and they're not in pain is, is priceless. Anyway, for me, uh, my husband and I got in, I think I got in in June. Uh, we did the detox and I'm um, not gonna lie, I didn't really notice a lot with the detox. Uh, like I said, I've always been in good health. I've exercised from the time I was 12 or 13. So I've released all that dopamine and serotonin all my life. So I always thought I was young um, and thought there was something wrong with me because I wasn't like other people my age. And then I uh, read in a nutrition book uh, about the releasing of dopamine and serotonin and how your body will respond the way you think. And so that's why I, I thought like that. Anyway, I think it's a good way to be, but not now that I'm 69 and I jumped off the edge of my porch uh, because I thought I could, and I always did. And I guess now sometimes just because you can do something doesn't mean you should anymore. So I jumped off of that porch and shortly thereafter, which I didn't connect it, uh, my knee and down the 
a friend of mine, he had an angle. It felt like I wrenched my leg. Like if you twisted it and you couldn't twist it back, which I have done before and it goes back. And I was waiting for it to do that, but it didn't. And so I patched it for pain down the front. And uh, when I didn't have to limp anymore, I just kept walking on it, but it was really hurt a lot, you know, it, and it took it, different areas of the knee, the front and down, the back and down, the back and up to the left. I mean, there was pain everywhere. I just couldn't figure it out. I never had anything like that wrong with me before. And I just kept thinking it was going to get better. So I just, I just put on my X39, my X49 and uh, my Eon every day. And then when it wasn't getting better, um, I, I made an appointment with, you know, my PA and she had me get an x-ray to just tell me, well, it's not broken or fractured. And, you know, I knew that, but they make you go step by step, you know, then she made an appointment for me with the ortho and that was going to be like a month later. So I just kept patching. And then I even did the claw behind my knee three nights, the Eon claw protocol, um, to help with the inflammation because it was, you know, quite in, uh, inflammated, inflamed, whatever. I'm sorry. And, uh, and, and then I just kept doing it regular. It still wasn't better. So I was going to keep that appointment with the ortho. I didn't want to because I knew that they were going to want to do some kind of procedure that I wasn't going to like. Uh, and I haven't had to have any of that all my life. And I thought, well, you know, Diane, you got to trust the Lord. And if it's time to have to go that route, you're going to have to trust him to go with you like other people. They have to go to the doctors. They have to take medicine um, and go through procedures. Uh, anyway, uh, it, uh, I did keep that ortho appointment because it was still hurting. I kept waiting for it not to so I could cancel, but it kept hurting. So I went to see him and he told me I did tear my meniscus. Uh, he didn't know if it was a large tear or a small tear. And so he wanted to get the MRI so we could decide if I needed a shot of cortisone or surgery. So I'm like, okay, you know, he made the appointment for a couple of weeks later. And I just kept patching X39, uh, X49 and Eon every day. And uh, it kept getting closer. Uh, I thought it was getting a little more relieved. I was getting closer to the time. I was hoping I was going to cancel it. Well, they called me two days before the MRI at night. And you know, you know how they call you and just ask you to confirm it's a, it's a machine. And so are you going to keep it or are you not? And I said, so I said, yes. But the very next day, I knew I should have said no. I, I could bring my knee back and I could tell that that inflammation that was in the way that I couldn't bring my knee back was a lot it was gone. It was more reduced anyway. I could bring my knee back and I was having less pain. And so I called back and canceled it. And it's just been getting better and better every day because they were going to give me a shot of cortisone. I wasn't in, I didn't take the first Tylenol from the time I did it. I wasn't in enough pain and uh, the patches and what I was doing was working. Um, I was so thrilled to be able to cancel that appointment because that shot was gonna cause me pain and maybe even keep me out of commission for two or three days, I think. And I definitely didn't want the surgery. So my knee is like almost all the way fine. I can run around like I always do. I can go to uh, silver sneakers at the senior center. That's how I know I'm old. I'm at the senior center now working out, uh, but I love it. The workouts are awesome. Um, so I can still enjoy my life and, and feel really well. I've also noticed, um, that I do have more energy, uh, that my stomach is flatter. Um, what else? Oh, sleep so much deeper. I can sleep, even if I get up three or four times a night, I can go right back to sleep. Uh, those are the things I noticed. I think my skin looks some younger, but you know, I'm a glutton and I want all the crags. Oh, help us Lord. We're so, you know, uh, what's the word? Vain, vanity, vanity. Um, we, I do want my beauty to shine from the inside out more. But um, when I can get everything, um, I will be getting the skin uh, routine too. And I have bought it one time. I just haven't been able to get it again. Um, I think that's all. I'm very thrilled to be in this business. Uh, as I said, um, the Lord orchestrated it. Like I said, I didn't know he was going to save the best for last. But um, his will be done. 
and to him be the glory. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, have, I'm just excited to bring as many people into health, wellness, um, uh, energy, financial freedom, that anything, any way I can help people, spiritually, physically, or financially, has always been my dream for many, many years. I hope that wasn't all too much, y'all. <laughs> No, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing with us uh, all this personal stuff. I mean, I, I wanted just to ask you again, you you confirmed the appointment for the that you were going to have with your the cortisone shot, right? The MRI. And then the he MRI. would have used that as a diagnostic to give me one or the other after he oh. saw the MRI. He would have. Okay. And I knew I wasn't going to take either mm. because it was getting it was better. And so I just canceled it. Wow. So that's incredible. Something sim very similar to that happened to my mom. She was two weeks away from getting, actually going through the surgery. And she started using X39 and Eon, um, some ice wave for the pain relief. And she, a year and a half later, she still hasn't done the surgery. So, you yeah, know, really. I know that we, we, what we're saying right here is anecdotal meaning there is no scientific basis of, of, of what is happening to our bodies. But there's nobody in the world that can tell you, Diane, that you had pain before with a tear or whatever you had in your meniscus. My son had his meniscus uh, tear, I think. Um, and I'm not sure if, if Vicky can correct me or not on that. And it's very painful. You know, he went you. through it. Um, he played soccer, of course, through his college and high school time he played through a, a torn meniscus. So I know that it's painful. I've never experienced any pain like that, but <clears throat> this is just amazing how we're, um, something like this could happen. And like you said, it's too good to be true. And I, I, I talk to people every day and I tell them testimonies of things that have happened to friends of mine, family, uh, myself, my wife, and now you, so that we can share and, and, you know, they have two options, right? They can believe you or they, they don't have to believe you. But one thing that they can't do is that they can't put that pain back in your body. And so we praise God for it because it's almost like a modern day miracle, right? How so like a tiny little sticker, right? In Spanish, we call it pachecito. A tiny little sticker can do such a wonderful thing for our body. And what you said earlier, you said when you did a C CRP with cellular regeneration protocol, you didn't feel that that much different. But then at the end of your talk, you said you had more energy, your sleep was better, your stomach's getting flatter. And um, all those things are part of just keeping the maintenance, right? Because most people think, man, I don't want to do it. It costs too much money. I say to them, compared to what, right? So if, if, you, if, if you had asked me, Diane, and you didn't know anything about this business, and I will say to you, you know what? You're going to have more energy. You're going to run around. You're going to have, your, your, your skin's going to be better. Your stomach's going to be flatter. Your scars are going to go away. You're going to cancel the MRI. And I, I promise you all that, what you just told me, you would say how much, and I would, and I could put whatever price in the world, and you go, you will say, if I trust you more than I enough, like you, we trust our doctors, right? And we have our beautiful doctor, Doctor Christine, here with us. You will pay us whatever we would ask you, right? But I tell course, everybody, I, yeah, there's no price on good health. I mean, I mean, you can you can drive the best car, you can have a beautiful home. You can adorn yourself with expensive clothes, but if you don't feel well, if you don't have the energy to enjoy it or take care of it, what's the point? I mean, so your investment in your health is the second best thing after your spirituality that you can invest in. Yeah, we, we, are, we have all through the years invested in our health so we can feel good. And so at 69, I can keep up with my four daughters, my grandchildren. Nobody has to say, well, let's wait for ma, you know, I could run around the mall with them. You know, like I said, when I did this, I didn't know what I did. So once I got stopped limping, well, even when I limped, I, I have two little dogs. I walk them twice a day, walk, run them twice a day. And I still did that. This meniscus, when I was moving, it didn't hurt. When I was sitting or sleeping, you know, it didn't like being cut off at the end of a chair. I had to prop it, but I did not baby it. I did not put hot things on it. I didn't take an, I didn't do anything. 
I just kept doing my thing and putting X, X thank God is X39 and X49 still repaired it for me after it took a little time, but it healed it. And I'm so awesome. grateful. So if you had gone to the doctors and he had told you it's going to take you two weeks, three weeks, however long, how long did you do the, uh, the cellular regeneration and the, uh, to how long did you start feeling better? Well, I did the cellular regeneration when we first got in, you know, back in June. So I've been doing X39 and X49 and Eon, I think consistently, at least for three months now, that's why I'm seeing all the benefits from those three after detoxing. I didn't notice anything after detoxing. After I'm sorry, what, honey? Talking about after the injury. After the injury? Well, I got injured uh, the end of November or the very first of December. So. I had it for two and a half months. You know, it takes a long time for them to get you appointments. You know, I waited first for it to fix by itself before I called the PA to get the regular x-ray. She didn't know what I did. And so she made me get the x-ray. I knew it wasn't broken or fractured, but she had to tell me that first. Then they make the appointment with the ortho and that takes another month, then another two weeks for the MRI by that. I'm glad it did because then the X3949 and Eon could heal it. And I didn't have to go, go through those painful procedures, either one. Well, you know, we have to be very careful, like, of heal. course, not to tell people that, um, that, no, 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 not that, is that we can't tell people like, hey, don't get that, that surgery. Don't go to the surgery because God forbid something happens to them. They can come back and say, and hold you responsible, accountable for not doing the surgery. So, I'm, I'm sure that David and Linda never said anything to you about that because we're very, we have to be very careful about that. But what's amazing is like you said, the time wise, like you had to wait, wait, wait. And finally, if, if, if let's say they give you the appointment and the next week they will get you to, um, to your, to the surgery, there wasn't been enough time. You would have not had enough right. time for your body to heal or to help your body heal. Right. So right. with that time, you know, um, God answers prayers. He just doesn't answer to you the, sometimes in the time that we want them to be answered. Right. So right. I see this as an answer to prayer, Diane. And I, I know that you, 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 you have an incredible faith in God and belief in God and can God use this in order to help your body every day. Every day I see it happening. And I'm just so glad that you're able to share this with us tonight. Um, I, I want to touch base with you one thing that the way that I know it's really not important how it happened, but it's you, you got to tell us, why did you jump off your porch? <laughs> well, I was getting, I was going to the car at, in the driveway and I didn't want to go out the front door and down the steps and all the way around. And just, I said, I can just go to the edge of the porch and jump off. And, and I've done it. I've done it before. And I thought I still could. I mean, like I said, I've exercised all my life. So I thought my bones are really strong because exercising builds strong bones too. And I love to work out resistance training. I, I work out every single night. And, um, and you know, that Nova, Oh uh, no, uh, that Eon that you recently shared one of uh, up on WhatsApp recently. That's the first thing David said about the dopamine and serotonin that Eon does for you. Eon does for you that young outlook with the serotonin and dopamine. By taking Eon, you get that. So that's amazing. Like I said, the uh, all the bad decisions and all the poor health decisions that we've made, we can get that reversed very shortly and make up for all that with these patches. And, and that's just amazing. We can help so many people and they can have relief and they can have health, really good health better than they've had for years in a very short time. That's, that's miraculous. But yeah, that's why I jumped off just because I'm silly and I wanted to save time. I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that that's that's really amazing because it just shows that that we're young at heart, right? So we we you've been doing it for many years. So what, what's going to cost? But at, at your age right now, but what's amazing there? If you continue to use the, the technology like we have, you've done the cellular re regeneration, right? You're past that, and that's you would do that about once a year or so, and then now you're on a maintenance, right? So what are you taking now to to keep? your energy and you um and the maintenance in your body 
Well, I'm taking X39, X49, and Eon every day. Uh, I ran out of glutathione. I have to order some more, but I like to be on all four of those all the time. I guess you don't have to be on glutathione all the time, but you know, it's a master antioxidant, you know, live for your liver and it, it keeps your immune system strong. Uh, and we need that today. Uh, so I like to wear all four of those. Um, I like X49 because I learned that it protects you from 5G and you know, that's all out there. And so that's why I also like to have that on. Um, I think that's also for strong bones. And, uh, you know, so th those are all, they all have, I mean, everything I read, I'm like, oh, I want to be on, but some of the things my husband needs to be on uh, for, for a protocol that he needs to have. So I, we, you know, eventually when we start, you know, increasing our finances through this business, I'm going to be able to get whatever I want and that'll be awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's incredible. I, I like the fact that you said that David talks about an overall health right? So um, that's really important because see, you, what you were doing, it's so good. Your, your, your nutrition is right. You're exercising, right? As, and as well as using the patches. So if we're doing that, you're getting good sleep. All those things are part of a well-rounded uh, lifestyle, right? Yep. So let's say you just put it on the patches and you're just sitting around home doing nothing. Do you think the patches and the technology is actually going to do something? No, no. They need the body to be moving. How uh, I was on a Spanish Zoom call with a doctor called Raul Saragossa from uh, Mexico, and he was talking about how important it is for us to detox. And while we're doing the cellular regeneration, if you're sitting around and doing nothing, guess what? Your Your cells are not moving. So they're not getting able to be able to get detoxed out of them, right? So by moving, exercising, sweating, walking, running, whatever it is that you're doing, you're moving your body so that you can get those toxins out. And I bet mm -hmm. you after when you were doing the cellular regeneration, you didn't stop working out. I bet you didn't stop walking because that's the lifestyle that you have. I know what I know that because I love walking. I walk four to seven uh, miles a day, every day with my dog, I, I, which I love doing that. People say, man, your dog is the most walked dog in the whole universe. And I'm like, it's okay. I love it because I, it makes me go out to walk, right? So those, those pillars that you have activated in your life is really important for all of us to hear this, right? Because we can't just tell somebody that's sitting around the house doing nothing just to put the patches and you're going to be okay. Is it going to have an act? Is, is it going to help our bodies? Yes, to a certain extent, but it's better to have those four pillars of your body, right? Nutrition, sleep, uh, make sure you hydrate. It's actually five pillars. Make, make sure that you, you are well, well hydrated. I was on the phone with a lady earlier and she said she drinks two liters of water every day. And I said, I don't want to ask you how much you weigh. But let me tell you, me, I weigh about 145, 150 pounds, and I, I divide that by two, and I get 75. From that moment, I know I need 75 ounces of water every day in my body. And she said, you know what? Two liters is only like 60-some ounces. She goes, I need to drink some more. I said, okay. You know, so that you need to, as you hydrate yourselves, especially when you go into cellular regeneration protocol, because you getting a lot of stuff out of you, that is the best thing that we can do for our body. So do you have any other things that you want to share with us? And David, I know that you brought, uh, was it you and, and Linda that brought um, Diane? Yes, it was. And I thank them so much. And every time I call, they are so gracious, so kind, so patient. And I really appreciate that. But yeah, the water is the hardest thing for me. And uh, uh, I don't love water, but I'm guzzling it down three or four times a day. I bet I'm not having any as much then as I'm supposed to. I guess I'll have even better results if I would. If I drank that much water, I don't think I'd eat at all. That my, When I drink, I get full and that'll help you lose weight, I guess. But yeah, you do need to, to flush everything out, you know, through, through a lot of water, you know, especially if you're trying to lose weight, you're not, you need to flush the fat with water. Um, so oxygenating when you exercise and then drinking a lot of water is very beneficial. So I've increased my water. I make my own tea, flavored tea, and I sweeten it with stevia and honey. And I drink, I always drink that all day long with not much water. 
So now I'm trying to drink more water, but I'm going to try to increase that even more then. Uh, it's, it's, it's just great. The company's great. You all are great. God is great. And uh, thanks yeah. again. For, thanks again for having me. I, I think that was all I had to say. I think well, I said I a lot. I appreciate that. And I have David uh, here. I want him to say a few words about you. Like, how did you guys meet? And, uh, and, and how was your, uh, your take on when you first introduced her to LifeWave? Well, I've known Diane now for probably, Diane and John, for probably, let's see, going on about six, seven years now, maybe even longer. Um, we were in a different company together, um, and we've been friends ever since. And, you know, um, and when we had this opportunity, we uh, called John and Diane and said, look, we got a, we've got an opportunity, uh, and we'd like for you to take a look at it. And Diane had mentioned, you know, about some uh, things that were going on with John. And we said, definitely need to try this. And it just went from there. And the good Lord just started work with both of us. And um, it was a, just a, a match made in heaven. Thank you. That's it awesome. is, it, it's an amazing, co I mean, it's just, like I said, too good to be true. I, I always wanted to help people with nutrition and wellness and we had nutrition products in the previous company and I really liked them and they did keep me in good health. But this is just amazing. And the, the, the technology, instantaneous relief for people in pain and cellular regener cellular resetting your genes and getting your stem cells after our age, because uh, we have none and going into repair where your body needs it. That's what it did for my knee. I mean, it's astounding. It, it really is. It really is hard for us to even believe while we're saying it and knowing it's true. It's even still hard to grasp the goodness of God to give that genius to David and let us all be able to share it with the world. Amen. Amen. And uh, we can end on that. that. That's an incredible testimony. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, David, for not being too shy or too worried. Uh, to tell your friends about this technology. And that's all that it is, right? We're, we're just sharing. We're sharing with the world. It's not about selling. I don't, you know, I, I don't like, and, and Dr. Christine will tell you this too. She's on the call. She hates selling. She tells me that all the time that she hates selling, but she loves to help people. And, you know, that's what we're doing. We're helping people. And that's a great commission, right? To tell them, to go to the highways and the byways and compel people to come in into the kingdom of God. But how can the kingdom be poor? How can the kingdom be uh, sick, right? So that's why this healing that, that we're receiving from, from this technology, from the inside out and the outside in, like David says, is really key for helping the kingdom, you know, and we're doing part of, we're, we're being a part of that. We're being God's hands and God's feet going out to the different places, different people that we know and sharing this incredible technology. Some doctors that are on their business, it's easy for them because the clients come to them. We have to go to the, to our clients, right? But nonetheless, you know, we, each of us have our own uh, struggles and obstacles and whatever, but we're, we're still keeping on and we're still going out helping people. So let's not keep the secret, right? Let's not keep the, what, what is, uh, uh, Brother Rick says, the secret is don't keep it a secret, right? So we go out, tell everybody about this incredible technology and what it has done for you. That's your best testimony. And right now we memorialize Diane's testimony and we're going to put it on YouTube so that people can see it and you'll be able to share it. So thank you. Thank you, David. Um, you know, David Allen. Thank you, David Schmidt. Thank you, Lord, for giving us all this incredible technology and the time that we can spend here together. So we'll see each other again next week. God bless you all and take care. Thank bye you bye. again for having right. me. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. God bless you.